not even 6.30 yet. The water is super rough. And we're headed out for snorkeling with turtles. I've never left this early for a snorkel trip in my life. And the water is not. Be fun. Alright, I'll turn off the camera. Warm and musty. Yeah. <laughs> so where are we exactly? We're on the south side of Raro. We're on the, at Avavaro Passage. The notorious Avavaro Passage. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I like that sinister laugh. <laughs> All right, so this is our new friend Josh, and he is apparently like the man for taking you out in the pass. Turtles, marine life. What else? Eagle rays, he said. What he's can you promised, guarantee he's us? He's promised yeah. the world, essentially. Oh, yeah, I'll uh, guarantee the turtles today. Plenty of coral, oh, really? fish life. Mm -hmm. All right. It's pretty Possibly confident. some rays. Maybe a couple of white tip sharks. Well, all right. Sounds fun. Yeah. Oh, and we've got uh, two Aussie nurses, right? Yeah. Yeah? Introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Mary. And I'm Hannah. And you're so, from, from South, South Australia. Australia. <laughs> nice. In Unison, there you go. So, good group. Alright, start. They say the early bird gets the worm, but we're hoping for turtles. work out sometimes. We met Josh briefly in passing a couple of days ago, but quickly connected on a love for the ocean and all its wild inhabitants. He was the lifeguard in Australia for a while, but felt the call of his native land and these pristine waters. Now here we are in what I can only describe as a jungle book experience. It's like following Mowgli into the wild, meeting his family, saying hi to old friends, and making new ones as we go. Avororo Pass is narrow, but deep, like a ravine. And with the skies overcast, it feels like we're swimming through an ancient hallway. Cold, dark, and a tad eerie, but prehistorically beautiful. Never seen so many turtles. Green, loggerhead, and hawksbill, too. Sadly, like so many sea turtles, they're critically endangered, mostly because of us humans. They get caught up in commercial fishing nets, and despite their international protected status, eggs are still eaten around the world and killed for their flesh and stunning shells. Oh, 
Imagine killing one of these creatures, especially just for a shell. Turtles are so chill, though. Like, yeah. have you, obviously, you saw turtles over in uh, French Polynesia. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Actually, Are only we, a few turtles in French Polynesia. Which yeah, is I mean, like we would yeah. see some, but not not like that. Not like that. That was a lot I mean, all hanging out. That was like at least fifteen or twenty different turtles. Yeah. yeah so chill. Used to humans do like. Amazing. Now we're coming for coffee. Got our turtle fix. Now we need yeah. our coffee fix. <laughs> and a warm up. Asked for a special, and that's a special. Yeah. Very nice. Veg special amount of avocado. Yeah. yeah. Veg is special. With lots of green. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm already started. Eggs Benedict, nice hollandaise, good bread, rocket salad. Looks good. Yeah. Shrooms. Speaking of food, we've been blown away by the cafe culture. It's heartier than we've ever seen on any other island. Nice. We got a fish burger and a vegetarian halloumi egg. Potato craziness. Awesomeness. That Look at that. Huge. <laughs> oh, honey, I know you wanted the cake in the window, but I don't know if you're going to be able to make it. And Island Powerade, I'm going to push through. <laughs> gotta push through. And when I say hearty, I mean in every sense of the word. Oh. I don't know how this is gonna work out. <laughs> We've been eating nonstop for a week, and there are times we have to remind ourselves we're not in Dallas or on the east side of Austin. Okay, so maybe there's never any doubts about where we are, but it's pretty fantastic. Coffee time. This guy's a local roaster. We heard he's amazing. His wife makes him off. Uh, I'm awesome pastries. <laughs> and he roasts local coffee. Apparently he doesn't have a dry And locally roasted coffee, well, we haven't seen any of that since Ecuador. Wow. We had to go on a hike just to give our stomachs a break. Well, I. It was excellent. <laughs> it's been a long time, but that was a solid, solid coffee. I'm ready. <laughs> you got a little giddy up in your step. Oh, uh, that's my side. Dang it.
run. The mosquitoes are incredible. Oh, that's insane. Oh, that's you're gonna lot. die. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta, gotta go. go right now. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. I think it got bit. Just a few. Jeez. We were only there for like a um, second. Yeah. Oh my, how's my back? Uh, yeah, you don't want to know. <gasps> oh. Should I wear don't a long sleeves for dinner. It. Yeah. yeah. We're definitely not doing the cross island hike. Not well. I think that waterfall's a little more intense than oh, maybe. the rest of. I'll wear bug spray and long clothes. Okay, back down the hill. That was a brilliant idea, wasn't it? Oh. At least we got a good photo. Yeah. Got that photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things we do. Onward. Going out with Josh again, the turtle whisper, and uh, he is talking about starting at one pass, swimming out going around and swimming back in another pass, which <laughs> sounds like really far. <laughs> and um, we've done nothing but like eat for the last week and uh, not much exercise other than like a hike. So I'm starting to feel like um, this is going to kick my ass. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping my island filled salad is going to help me keep up with the Islander. Oh, avocado, grapefruit, tomato, carrots, lettuce, like all of it grown here, which is fantastic. Island goodness. Probably didn't use a wall. That's what happens when we film too much. We're running out of battery now, we're using the cell phone. <laughs> That's always a good sign, right? Just putting on my rash guard to go swim in a spot. That says danger, strong currents. <laughs> yeah. But that's why we're going out with a uh... local pro? Yeah. That's Josh there and this is his lovely lady who will be joining us today. You say peace is just a state of mind. You help me reach it when I leave mine behind. <laughs> City chaos and dust in our eyes. Speeding at us, we sweet.
I don't think the camera is doing it justice, but the waves are coming in hot and the current is strong. We need a different perspective. Okay, so this isn't the pass we're in, but at least from up here you can see the washing machine effect going on. There's a lot of water being pulled through these passes, and we had the intention of swimming out. But when Josh, the surf junkie, and Island's best snorkel guide hesitates, so do we. If we get chewed up and spit out on the reef, well, let's just say we're going to need more than a few band-aids. Right about the time we decided to turn around and call it quits, we took one last look. And there it was, a window of opportunity. Here we are again with Mowgli for one last romp through the jungle. And there are moments where I swear Josh is speaking turtle. Our time here in Raro is coming to an end and I can feel it already. That little twinge of sadness creeping in. It's going to be hard to say goodbye to all our new friends. But so it goes. The life of a sailor. 